guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome back to Simply Nikla. Today I have a bootastic Halloween nail tutorial for you guys. You don't want to miss out on this one, so continue watching so you can learn how to do this one. So let's jump right in and do this awesome nail tutorial. But before you do, continue to watch, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And also give me a like to everyone who is watching right now. Give me a like, I really appreciate that. But other than that, let's get started with this video. To start this bootastic Halloween nail tutorial, yes, I sure did say that again, we're going to start with a base coat. So on the ring finger and the middle finger, it is getting two coats of white, and the white that I used was LA Colors Curl Last, and it's called Evermore. on my thumb I'm going to apply two coats of a nice deep orange from pure ice called drive me crazy yeah, yeah. Oh, but I didn't. I'm not going to apply a base coat on the index finger and pinky, so we're gonna start nude on those nails. Once the base colors are ready to go, I want to do a ombre scene, like an ombre grave scene on my middle finger and ring finger. So I want to prep those nails, in which I use the liquid latex cuticle guard on the cuticle cuticle areas of these two nails which the cuticle guard that I used was the Pween Latex Tape Liquid Pill-Off Cuticle Guard. Once that was clear, I used a makeup sponge wedge and I'm going to apply a three layer combination of an ombre to put on these nails. So like I said before, I'm going to do like this graveyard Halloween scene on these two nails. So I did like a purple ombre. So I want to start with black. The black that I chose to use was LA Colors Color Last Onyx. And then I went from like a shimmery purple from Simple Colors Professional and it's called Let's Talk. And then, the and then the last color that I chose for this purple ombre, black to purple ombre, was a light purple. And that purple was from LA Colors Color Craze in the color Jazzy. Once those three colors were on the makeup sponge wedge, I did my dab sessions like I usually do, about two or three dab sessions onto the middle finger and the ring finger until I was happy with the color payoff. Push me ombre colors were drying I went to my index finger and my pinky and so for that same makeup sponge wedge that I used for the ombre I'm going to rip the pieces off from that makeup sponge wedge because I just wanted that um, spongy wedgy look when you pull it apart I want that little spongy look because I'm going to apply about four different colors onto my index finger and pinky because I want these nails to look infected and gooey Okay, so the colors I used to make this infection happen on the index finger and pinky were four wonderful colors. I went in with a yellow, which I used from LA Colors Color Last, and it's called Upbeat. I went in with a red from LA Colors Color Last, and it's called Captive. I also went in with a milk chocolate brown um, from Simple Colors Professional called Nirvana. And then I also went within a little bit within with a darker brown and from Simple Colors Professional called Mobulus. So there's no rhyme or reason with the colors or a particular order um, with this because I went back in multiple times with the colors to get to it to the right colors that are the right infected look uh, how I wanted it. So I just went in with the yellow, the red, the, both of the, uh, the browns until I was happy with the, the infected look. Just kept on building that color onto both of those index finger and pinky. <laughs> Once 
once I was happy with that infection look on those nails, I want to make these a matte. So I applied a matte top coat and the matte that I used were from LA Colors Nail Treatment Matte Top Coat and I applied one coat onto those nails. Know that somewhere in there there's now I want those nails to be really matte before I do more things on those nails. So I went ahead and jumped back over to the middle finger and the ring finger and started that design on those nails. So I want to do like a graveyard scene and so I went in with a purple. I want to have like the shadow of a of graves that are in the back of the nails uh, so I went in with a purple the purple that I used were from salon perfect and it's called mood ring and I made like these tombstone shapes and apply like a cross on top of one of them but also making sure some of that light purple is still peeking through and I do that to both of the nails and it doesn't matter where you put the tombstone but leaving a little bit of space in between. Same, making bad decisions, it should be my middle name. I love playing with fire, it's my favorite guy. Watch me burn my whole house down, not feel a thing. Then I went in with a black, which is the LA Colors Color Last Onyx. And I applied the tombstones on in between the purple ones that I just made and colored them in. And then right at the bottom, filled that all in with the black. On the middle finger, on the side of the nail, I made a little tree. And then on the ring finger, I applied these little tiny like black birds um, in behind the little scene of the tombstones. Don't mean shit to me, maybe you should pull me along. happy with those nails I jumped back over to the index finger and the pinky on these two nails on top of that matte infected look I want to have this nice black goopy goo coming out of your nail I applied this like drip like a paint dripping look coming out on top of where the cuticle is down your nail so I used that black again the LA Colors Color Last Onyx and just applied different like goopy shapes onto the index finger and the pinky there's no rhyme or reason just go slow and make sure it's like skinny at the cuticle and then it like goops down at the bottom and then and just fill those in three i'm sorry mom done with these nails and so I'm going to go to do this nail arts on my thumb. On my thumb I wanted to apply two spiders on a spider web. So I went in with a black the black that I always have been using for this nail tutorial, the LA Colors Color Last Onyx, and I applied a bigger circle for the body of the spider and a small circle for the head. applied four legs on the left side of the spider and the right side of the spider on both of the spiders. Before I did anything else with the spiders, I went ahead and put in some lines for the spider webs around it. Then now I want to give the little bodies a little shine. So I went in with the Live Love Polish color called bangle and I apply that a little bit onto that stomach of the spider to give it a little bit of a shine. And then I went in with that white again with the LA Colors Color Last Evermore to give some highlight marks onto the spider. Once I did everything I was done and wanted to seal everything in with my favorite top coat which I used the Profix Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat and I apply that to every nail. So you guys, what do you think of these nails? I really wanted to give you a bootastic, fantastic, 
epic nails for this Halloween and I really loved and enjoyed this nail. It's kind of a little different than ones that I've done in the past that I really wanted to try something different for Halloween. How did you like these nails? It's kind of a little bit of everything. Leave some comments or a like down below if you like them as well. And I hope you have some awesome nails for this Halloween. But other than that, go down below and subscribe if you haven't at the beginning and give this video a like if you haven't already. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you back later. Bye. I've been up for three nights.